Hey guys, so you probably noticed that I'm having a good health day. I actually took the time to put on makeup, set up both my ring lights, and even put my phone at like a somewhat flattering angle. I mean, as much as I can get anyway. Um, but that's because it's Thursday. Well, not that I have good health days every Thursday, but it happened to work out today. So like, I like to do doll unboxings on Thursday because our trash guy comes the next morning. So it doesn't just pile up. Because let's face it, these guys, unboxing them, creates a lot of trash. Like, like actual just loads of trash. Uh, so that's kind of a struggle. But yeah, so we are going to be unboxing, what are they called again? Rainbow Divas. I think I keep calling them Rainbow Dream for some reason. But isn't that the first band's name? Like Lyric and Vanessa? Maybe? Anyway. So, like, I, I kept getting all of their names confused. Anybody else just want to do a shelf with just the band? And I feel like the first band should count. Like, the one with Vanessa and Lyric and Carmen should be on that. I was talking to somebody else about that the other day. They mentioned, like, technically, technically, Carmen and Vanessa and Lyric should count as Rainbow Vision Series 1 because they were last year's winner even before they were released as dolls. So, uh, just food for thought, I guess. Um, let's see, what's up other than that? Let's get the news out of the way, the notable events and whatever. Um, since I've seen you guys last, they released the SDCC Monster High Frankie, um, which didn't really go well. Like, even the designers posted that scalpers brought, like, bags of boxes for them to sign and it just didn't occur to them that anything was wrong with that but like, what, are you, what are they supposed to do about it i mean the people have already bought the dolls at least now i think mattel has some idea that scalpers are getting these dolls and not collectors whatever but i don't know that there's anything they can really do about it i mean i guess they could update their site to be stronger against bots and stuff but i don't understand how any of that works i'm not gonna lie to you guys so i mean so that's a thing um and then they also revealed the haunt couture cleo and laguna which were very <sighs> to me they're just very disappointing like i honestly was even willing to save back money especially because i really loved cleo um from the last sdcc before everything was cancelled and i never really got her because i was going to like a divorce and like life at the time and so like i just didn't have the money for it and then when i did she was like so ridiculously expensive like it's not even cute anymore and i'll be honest with you that's a really weird thing because i was also talking in, in a group today about that is i find myself like i have spent 800 plus dollars on a bjd and not even a full set like just a nude with eyes and wig bjd i have spent over 600 dollars on my grail pula so price isn't i'm not gonna say it's not an issue because we live in an economy and i also i'm no longer you know okay so look back when i did those things i was like a college student so i was getting like money back off of that and instead of thinking oh this is a loan i'm gonna pay off later i thought oh bjds and pulips so, like, please note that that's, like, not me as a person anymore. I don't live that life. Um, I've gotten a little older, a little smarter about finances, etc. Obviously, it doesn't seem like it because I have a lot of Rainbow High. I think it's just easier because they're smaller and less expensive all at once. Um, although, they're they're kind of pushing the prices. I mean, that Paris Hilton doll is rumored to be, like, $100. The Dia de los Muertos doll is rumored to be close to $100. So, uh, maybe my attitude will change on that, too. But... I feel like it's it's easier to go out and buy a Barbie extra or an OMG or a Rainbow Heidel because they're not that kind of large chunk at once. Um, and that's still not even true for everybody, but for me personally. So it's weird. I will drop 50 60 70 $80 on a Rainbow Heidel. But the idea of dropping like $200 on a Monster Heidel feels gross to me. Like they don't feel like they're worth it. <clears throat> and maybe that's because I was collecting in the early days when they still had a like, glue head and flimsy floppy bodies and and misprinted faces. And I'm going to be honest with you, from what I can tell, not a lot has changed. Um, So the new Frankie, I don't know what happened. 
I guess, like, people are saying it's oxidization, but, like, her face is randomly turning blue. Even when they haven't touched her, like, whatever. Because I thought maybe it was fingerprint oils, but some people are saying theirs are turning that way in the box. And the box has these little cut-out open tabs all the way around it, like little squares. So it's not like you can make it, like, airproof so that it doesn't oxidize. I don't know that that's... I had a lot of yellowing with on Frankie's, um, especially in their hair and on their foreheads from the glue in their heads. Um, same with, like, Abby's and stuff like that. But I've never had one oxidize. So I do think that's kind of a... That's kind of a new thing. Um, so I don't know. Like, I just don't feel like I could drop, you know, 100 or $200 on Monster High. Maybe for a Dracula, if it was, like... Primo Dracula, because I do, like, I am kind of sad that I missed out on the 15-inch one, even though she constantly looks like her eyes are rolling back in her head. Um, I'm kind of sad because I'm a huge Dracula stan. And speaking of which, if you guys love Monster High, uh, Spirit Halloween has been advertising. They're going to have a bunch of Monster High stuff, costumes, purses, makeup, etc. And um, the ones where I live, one of them opens August 4th and the other one opens August 6th. So that's coming up really soon. And you know that stuff is going to sell out. And there is a chance that they might not get more in. So make sure that if you're interested in that stuff, you find out what day your Spirit Halloween opens and be there like at opening time. Um, let's see. Other than that, we've seen a ton of new leaks for new OMGs, especially like this winter fashion runway line. Um, honestly, like... I know part of it is the leaks, like, seeing them. It's making me feel so overwhelmed because that's, like, there's four tweens already out. Maybe eight because there's that winter or the, um, the Wonderland, like, the Alice in Wonderland themed ones. And then there's the ones with, like, Emma Emo and, and those ones. So there's, like, eight tweens out, um, two tween play sets and an OMG play set at the diner. Um, the four... What are they? Like the the fancy taller version ones. Like it and they're all out right now. Like apparently people are like finding them currently. So like I feel like I'm behind like what, twelve, thirteen? At least thirteen of those. Bare minimum thirteen, because I, I know there's probably some I'm forgetting. And then there's another like five or six of them leaked already. That are coming out for this winter time, which means they'll be out around like October, November for that Christmas shopping bonanza. And like, don't get me wrong, like with the OMGs, because I only collect one of each and it's not as bad as Rainbow High, like I don't feel like I have to rush to get them because most of these dolls are still in the stores six months to a year later. So it's not really that, <clears throat> it's not really that bad. Anyway, so there's all of those OMGs leaks, and then we've been seeing a lot of leaks for Rainbow High. And I just want to drop this because it has been an issue as of lately. The people who leak this stuff, like, we're always so excited to see it. But we don't really treat the leakers with respect. And the reason why I say that is because they they do risk a lot. I mean, and they know what they're they're risking when they do it. You know, they're risking getting sued. They're risking get, getting their accounts taken down, etc. But they, they do a service. I think it's a service because I enjoy seeing the leaks. I'm not going to lie. And... So it kind of kills me because when one of the leakers recently asked that people only either, you know, share in, in certain areas or they don't share this at all because they didn't want their account taken down, um, people were sharing it anyway with the leaker's name plastered all over it and everything. Like, are you trying to get their account taken down? Are you trying to get them sued? Like, what? If they say, please don't share it, then just don't share it. Like, you do need the clout that desperately that you have to disrespect somebody who's providing a service out of the kindness of their own heart. Like, I don't know. I think it's kind of gross and kind of trashy when people are like, well, I shared it anyway. If they don't like it, they shouldn't leak it. Whatever. But anyway, so we've seen a lot leaked we've seen lists of stuff that's supposed to be coming out just through like the fall and winter and for shadow high and rainbow high and there's a ton of it and there's a ton of omgs and there's like i think three of the barbie extra fancies 
three new Barbie extras, a new five pack for Barbie extra. Like a lot of the stuff I collect is getting a whole bunch coming out all at once. Um, and I'm really glad I didn't get into the Mermaid and Mermaids because they have, I think it's like four or five new winter dolls that have like the, the tails that you shake and the glitter floats around, like the snow globe looking tails. So I don't know, like, I don't know what else is even out there besides those doll lines. Like that's all I can even keep track of. Um, we saw that Mermaid High got cancelled. The designers had posted a thing where like the dolls really weren't what they meant to create. The company really kind of pared them down and, and changed them up a lot. And then the dolls didn't do well. So that was that was really sad. Um But right now, so we've just seen the release of the Rainbow Vision dolls. We've seen the leaks for glitch. Um, Carla Chopet and Diamante, which are three new dolls that seem like they only come with one outfit. And we don't know what line they are. Um, some people have speculated series two. Others have mentioned that they're missing, um, the two right here that you would normally see. So they might be like a, a special line, but they don't come with the second outfits. And honestly, Glitch doesn't even look like her show episode version. She doesn't have any of her hair things. Her outfit is different. Her face mold doesn't really look right. Um, so like, but I mean, these are leaks. Things can change. They're not necessarily set in concrete at this point, but they're rumored to even only have one outfit and still be that $32.99 that we saw with like Pacific Coast and, you know, whatever. So like, people are really speculating that these prices are getting out of hand. Um, but at the same time, as long as people are buying it at that price, MG is not going to stop. So that's, that's just how businesses work. Um, you know, what else have we seen? Like we've seen so many leaks and it's like, it's crazy. I can't even remember them all. But anyway, today we're going to get this unboxing done because I have been dying, dying to unbox these dolls. And I've been talking forever about all kinds of other stuff that you guys are probably like, whatever. Um, I do want to mention one more thing, and that's that recently I made a reel for, um, and I made a, a very short, like, YouTube video for how to fill in the hole in the Storm Twin Veronica, the one with the bubble gum, how to fill that hole in and repaint over it so it doesn't look like there was ever a hole there to begin with. Um, and I, I don't know if you guys like those when I do, like, just a little short, um like customizing tutorials because i did like another one not long before that i don't even know what it was oh how to straighten a leg that's bent um like if their leg comes bent in the box how to heat it up and straighten that so i don't know if you guys like those like little micro tip videos and reels but if you do let me know and like i'll just i'll make them like just when i'm randomly customizing stuff for you guys um because they might work out better for people who don't necessarily have time for the longer videos and yeah, let's get to unboxing because I don't know about you guys, but I'm dying, dying, so excited about these. Okay. Okay, you guys, my desk is a huge mess and not even big enough for all three of these boxes, I swear. But real quick, let's zoom in on each one. Okay, so we have Aisha Sterling. And the wonderful thing about her is that she is Robin's older sister. I know that it's not uncommon for siblings to have different colored eyes from each other. But I can already tell you, I've got a pair of spare robin eyes that she's going to be getting. Not that I don't love the brown, but I actually have another doll that will probably be using them. Because I do love the brown so much. It just, I just feel like there's, I want her to look more like her sister, I'm not going to lie. Anyway, she, they have these beautiful gowns, but like, again with this weird eyelet, eyelash feather, I don't even know. I kind of hate that the glittery chunks look yellow, but it could just be the way the light's hitting them. Alright, and then these guys do come with their makeup kit, a little travel box. It's really nice. I don't really display my dolls with all of that, but like, and they have their little microphones. So I, that's all just stuff that's going to go in a box of spare plastic parts. And then again, she's got this. What is this? I don't even like this material. I hate it, and I really hope that Rainbow High and Shadow High just stop using it. Alright, so I did get her at the store, and her baby hairs are pretty good. They're a little separated, but not like how Phaedra's was, so it's not even really that bad. 
So these say series one on them, which makes me think there's going to be a Rainbow Vision series two. Um, okay, so on the back of the Rainbow Divas box, it's really pretty. It shows them in their, their main gowns. And I honestly love these dresses. I love that we're getting something a little fancier. I love that they're all women of color. You know, you don't normally see a line where the dolls are all women of color. In fact, I think that Rainbow High fans have been asking for it for a very long time now and not seeing it. So this was just like a really nice treat. Also, I already love their shoes. Like, I love cute little strappy heels. And I love things that are kind of neutral, like silvers, golds, blacks, whites. Um, just because they kind of go with more outfits than when you have very specific colored shoes. And since I dye a lot of dolls, a lot of them have like colors that we haven't actually seen from Rainbow High yet. Okay, you guys might be able to hear Saucy scratching at the door because he wants in. But as soon as I let him in, he's going to scratch at the door that he wants out. And I have to keep the door closed. So just know that I'm not abusing this poor, poor kitty he just thinks he's neglected because he's been locked out for about five minutes now okay you guys so Molina's is the one rainbow high doll i could not find in the store i don't know why but my walmart ordered aisha sabrina and then all three of the the neon shadow girls but did not order Maline. um she never came in I don't know what happened there, but I ended up ordering her from Amazon. I was super nervous about it, but look how good her face is. It's, it's pretty decent. Honestly, the faces for the Rainbow Vision bands have been much better, which makes you think maybe Series 4 was a fluke. I think the only one I've seen that had a lot of problems was Harley, who has the... Um, her lips tend to be smudgy on the edges or like kind of bubbly. Alright, so here we go with her stuff. Again, she's got her little makeup kit. The microphone. I am not loving this leopard print coat, but I'm going to be honest with you. At no point in time have I ever loved animal prints, unless they were on actual animals. Alright, so there's Maline And Sabrina. Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. I love her darker green eyes. They're darker than Sunny's were. Um, but I don't necessarily love them on her. I'm actually probably going to give her Aisha's brown eyes and then just use her green eyes on literally anybody else. All right. And then here's her little makeup kit. I'm guessing she's supposed to be like rose gold. Um, I'm kind of sad that they didn't make a bronze or copper girl, but... You know, you got to have pink in the line because all doll brands love pink. I love pink. I'm not even complaining. I used to only collect pink anime figures or pink haired anime figures, pink haired dolls, pink haired everything. So I'm not complaining. But I know a lot of people are just drowning in the pink and they don't love it. So, you know, but for me, it's great. And her name is Sabrina St. Cloud, which just... I don't know, like, it just sounds like a really romantic, pretty sweet name. Um, she also has baby hairs, as they all do. And again, hers are really, really good. They're connected to her hairline. I'm happy about that. Normally, with these dolls, I would open least favorite to most favorite. But I don't even know if I have a least favorite to most favorite. I'm going to actually start with Maline because she was the one I ordered online. And... I was so excited about her that, like, I've just been dying to open her this whole time. And then I'll probably have been Aisha and then Sabrina. Um, not really for any particular reason. Just, I don't know. That's how I want to open them. So let's get started. Oh, and I did want to point out before I cut her box open, all of them say music focus. Like, all of them have their name and music focus, which is kind of a given, but in case anybody was wondering... Okay, so let's go over what she comes with first. So we have this makeup case. It's got the little faux lights. It actually kind of would have been cool if it had had a spot for batteries so that it could light up. Um, but I don't believe it has that. Everything has the Versace Angel logo on it. Or, well, the Rainbow High version of that. The doors have this nice little print on the inside. So in this shelf is this drawer. 
and then this drawer is a little divider so this goes in here now I will say the problem with this is it's very hard to pull out I actually have to kind of wiggle my scissors up under the handle to get it out because it's a really tight fit but it just goes back in like that all right and then she comes with a blow dryer with attachment sorry she's got a couple of little makeup brushes a lipstick with a little Versace angel like a tiny little tiny little thing um and then they also have this compact with the Versace angel and you open it up and it's a little quad colored compact so that's really cute um she comes here's her second dress and again i'm not loving the animal print i don't know if i would have loved it more if it were all gold because at least the animal print breaks it up a little bit makes it look less cheap i guess i don't to me animal print looks more cheap like it's, it's hard to even say that but i would think that a dress that was all the way gold lame would probably look kind of disastrous in and of itself so it is it is a cute dress i think it could look good on you know marissa or harper or any of your other golden girls cheryl even maybe so that's a thing here are her second shoes they have little r's on them show you the heel These are actually really nice and I feel like they'll go with a lot of stuff too. I do worry about getting them around the, like over the foot to go around the ankle because they do feel really, really thin. And I know people have had problems with like um, straps breaking before. All right. And then we have her coat, which I will say is very thick and kind of luxurious. It's well lined, even though I'm not an animal print fan. This is actually a really nice coat. Like, I will say, just having the liner in them really feels like MGA is giving us a dull renaissance right now because everything feels so high quality. All right, so the little doors shut. They are on them. They have casters on the bottom that spin in all directions. I don't know what the little hole is for, if it's just to help them attach stuff, but it would have been really cool if it lit up. I just don't think it does. It's also got this handle that kind of lifts up and goes down. So I'm going to put all her stuff away right quick and then we'll get into looking at Malene. Oh, and really quickly, I just wanted to point out that these two trays do come out of the top. Right, really quickly, here is her stand no hangers so in case you were hoping for them it looks like it's not gonna happen which is odd because the shadow high neon girls got them all right so on to Maline. she's got like this one little hair that wants to come across her face and it's not going anywhere her hair is really soft no crunch whatsoever not a single tiny bit of gel Good baby hair placement. Look at these hoops. You know what they say? The bigger the hoops, the bigger the dreams. Uh, <laughs> and then they have a little RH on the front of them. Her makeup is relatively even. Uh, let's see here. It looks like her lips have a really, really pretty gold sheen to them. You can see how her microphone is attached. She's got bracelets and rings. The rings are non-removable. A couple of people have mentioned that some of their dolls with the rings... Oh, they've got the, the nice pointy nails. Some of their dolls with the rings, the rings weren't all painted all the way. So that could be something to watch out for. I feel like it doesn't look... Like her pinky ring is painted. And it's not. So I might take some gold paint and dab on that. So that is something to pay attention to. It's not really necessarily something you'd see in the box. Because of the bands going around her hands. But you might have to dab a bit of paint on her once you get her. I'm going to detach this microphone so we can uh, check out her dress. Okay guys, just so you can see the 
pinky ring that's not painted a little better. It really blends in with the skin, so it's not like something that's super, super obvious. Um, her first bracelet just has an R charm on it. And then she has a ring on this finger. These bracelets are pretty much plain. I mean, they're just supposed to look like big jewels. Her dress is beautiful gold, all one piece. You can see the detail in the RH shoulder straps right there. So I can get that into the light better for you guys. There we go. It's got a cutout on the side piece, but not the other side, so it does make it a little wrinkly. Sorry, it's also just pitiful trying to get in tonight. Alright, all these beautiful ruffles at the bottom. I will say, I really love this dress. I do. I think it's super, super pretty. Um, I did throw her hair up in a ponytail just so I could give you guys a little bit better look at her face without her hair in the way. Like, she is really, really gorgeous. And then her first pair of shoes are these lovely strappy gold ones. And one of the nice things I think that we are seeing lately is there's still a little bit of that RH here and there, but it's not everywhere. It's not sparkle this and, and magic that and rainbow everywhere. We're starting to see more clothing that's just clothing. All right, you guys, so there's Malene. Like I said, her hair is so, so soft. Like, I don't know if I just got lucky enough to not have one with gel or what, but like, it's just luxuriously soft. And here she is in her second outfit. And I, I honestly think it's really pretty. Um, aside from the coat, I will actually probably put the dress and shoes on Marissa. Um, I think they'd look really good on her. And I do plan on keeping all of my, um, oh my god, what is this band even called? Rainbow Divas. I do plan on keeping all of my Rainbow Divas in their first outfits. So the second outfits will be donated to dolls in need. And I honestly think they'd go really, really well with the sleepover dolls. So, yay. Alright, so that works out. Anyway, now let's go and open Aisha. Alright, you guys. So, Aisha's absolutely beautiful. Um, let's look at her stuff really quickly. So, she comes with a makeup. And I did notice the colors were all different. So, her colors are more silver toned. Mine is a neutral shade. This is the important thing. Okay, you guys. So, you remember the little lipstick? Hers, again, is a different color. They've got the little Versace angel on the front. You guys, they have lids. And I did not see this with Maline because it's very small clear and it uh was stuck to the tape so if I actually hadn't discovered um Aisha's I might not have even known that there was a lid all right so she has the same three brushes but in silver oh, yeah there it is with the lid on by the way first of all how many dull lipsticks have you seen that come with a removable lid that's that's kind of wow but anyway uh she comes with the hair dryer all of the doors and the, uh, the stuff that opens i do think kids will lose that lid in like about five seconds but th that stuff is really cool i mean you know we do complain about the prices sometimes and i don't understand why but these guys are 39.99 on amazon and target and 49.99 at walmart so, I bought them all, except for Malene, of course. When they were at Walmart, I paid full $50 each, which means I basically, oh, I got five out of the six. So I basically threw away 50 bucks, because um, that's an additional 10 each that I paid that wasn't even necessary. But I like to pick up my dolls in person, and I didn't want to wait. So that's me. That's just, that's a personal thing. But if you can avoid getting them at Walmart, unless you see them like on sale, because I know Aisha right now is on sale for $30.99 um, on the Walmart website, but she is going in and out of being sold out. If you can get them for cheaper, I would, honestly. I would just order them online. Uh, I do feel like these guys have had 
less makeup mishaps than the previous line so that's something to consider but again i don't even like ordering online so i know that you guys are probably like what are you saying to us right now all right really quickly let's look at what else she came with um obviously her microphone her stand is actually white with silver glitter um it's not silver like you think it would be these shoes i love them so much there's a pink version of these same shoes in the new um the little blind bag shoe and purse collections that they're releasing i haven't seen them in stores some people got lucky enough and ordered them online and got the whole collection um for the price of one box they're ten dollars for a pair of shoes which means three pairs of shoes equals the same worth as almost all of our four pairs of shoes equals the same worth as adult two outfits all of these accessories that doesn't really make sense. I don't know what they were doing. The, doll the shoes come with other stuff, like these little certificates and a dust bag and a bunch of crap that you're probably going to either throw away, set aside, because you don't need. And they think that that justifies the $10 price. I'm not really buying it, but there are several pairs of shoes I want, so I'll probably, unfortunately, end up buying those. All right. She also comes with the sequin outfit. It's got, like, random ones that are longer than the others. Not everybody loves sequins, but I don't think these are poorly done. They kind of give this 1920s flapper vibe, especially, well, I mean, it would if it was all one piece dress, but like, still, with the, with the dangling sequins, and especially with this dead chicken feather looking, it'd go great with Natasha's dress, <laughs> I can say that. I haven't removed all the little plastic tabs. It has these, so you can pull it over her arms like a shawl and it will stay on which these are, are pretty thick solid plastic pieces i mean look at the lining of it they took time to line it and do all this other stuff so even though i do have some complaints about some of the stuff rainbow high does like ten dollar shoe and purse blind bags then they turn around and give us good quality on other things i just blows my mind all right on Aisha's dress again I don't love the glitter. It's supposed to be white, but it's giving off like a yellowy green vibe. Um, I think if it were me, I'd probably get like, I don't know, some sequins or something and just glue it over top. So it comes with a two-piece top. She's got like, look at these cute little earrings. They're similar to Chanel's, I think. There's a good look at her makeup. See, I like that their faces are slightly shiny without being sweaty. Um, her hair has, let's see if I can lay her down, a very small amount of crunch. It doesn't even feel crunchy, really. I mean, you can tell there's a little bit of gel in there, but it's not bad. Alright, on this hand, she's got a bracelet. Uh, her nails aren't exactly painted the best. But I've seen worse. At least they're painted and she has all her fingers. Alright. So this hand again. The ring on the pointer finger is painted. And the one on the pinky was missed. So now they just look like they have finger warts. So I'm going to take some silver paint. Dab it on there. Alright. And then she's got two bracelets on this hand. Her skirt is an interesting choice because it's actually shorts underneath. And I mean they're all one piece. The skirt and the shorts. But I thought that was kind of nice because, you know, she does have this, like, thigh-high split. And not every company would bother to put shorts underneath. She's got a couple of cute hair clips. There you guys. I'm going to change her right quick into her second outfit. Just so we can see how it looks. And really quick, just these are the details in Aisha's first pair of shoes. Got some cute little bows on the front. All of the shoes in this pack are just really, really pretty heels. You can see the little buckle detail. Alright, let's check out our second pair. Okay, I'm scared to move anything. Because she's actually standing up on her own right now in the second pair of heels. Honestly, I like the second heels better with the first dress. And the first heels better for the second dress. That's just me. I mean, most people probably wouldn't even think there's that much of a difference. Here she is with her chicken feathers on. 
I don't know what I really don't know why they keep using this but hopefully this will be the end of it all right real quick you guys I was so scared to take that shot off because I was so afraid that she would flop over there she is in her second outfit it's really really cute honestly you know what as much as I don't like the chicken feathers they don't look that bad with this um I do think that this outfit well I wouldn't necessarily use it for Robin it could look really cute on Natasha since they're chicken feather sisters um I can't know like who else has that like sparkly silver theme if anybody well I guess really any of the shadow high girls all right but really quickly I'm gonna go ahead and open Sabrina for you guys so you can see her okay you guys and last but certainly not least we have Sabrina St. Cloud which was my favorite until I unboxed her, I think. Or, like, I don't want to say favorite, because I probably love all three of them equally. But, like, obviously, because I'm a huge fan of pink, she was a little, a little more love than the other ones. But, like, then I opened her. And I know what you're thinking, like, how bad could it be? But this is not something I really had noticeably with the other two. This is all hair and sequins that fell off of her as I had her sitting on my lap while I finished unboxing her stuff. So, I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. That's a thing that happened. Anyway, <laughs> so her stuff is the same as before. Um, her eyeshadow has more pink colors in the palette her little lipstick with lid the three brushes a blow dryer okay got it all boxed up her stand is this very pale pink the clip honestly looks like a different color it's very peachy that's kind of strange again no hangers sad face here's her second outfit this looks honestly like something that would look amazing on Bella or maybe even Georgia. Um, beautifully lined coat again. Like, I will say, MG is really outdoing themselves with this stuff. Little shorts kind of. The sleeves seem kind of short to me, but like, I don't know. It's fluffy, it's cute, I'm about it. Her secondary shoes are these beautiful pair of pink and gold shoes these little netted socks I don't really I think I'm too old to understand the fashion where you wear socks with heels I don't hate it I just it seems kind of strange to me I guess all right so I will say on top of the hair loss she has all these like tight crimps where the bands were so she's gonna need her hair boil straightened um her hair has some crunch to it it's not terrible, but it's very, very choppily cut. Um, it's not to say they'll all be like that, but that's the thing. Her earrings, you barely have to touch when they just fall out of her ears. They're super, super, super loose. Well, I guess this one's not. But the like they just kept falling out like the entire time I was messing with her. Um, trying to get her out of the box. The necklace is very reminiscent of um, Aisha's sister Robin's, except for it's gold with a little bit of pink. The dress is really pretty. I love the belt. I mean, it's all one piece. Hers don't have little shorts underneath. I think it was just um, Aisha's because of her high split. Sorry. This dress makes a lot of noise. I will say that. Um not a bad way just it's very crinkly sounding so she's got two bracelets on this hand her nails are soft baby pink she has a single bracelet on this other hand and again for whatever reason they've painted her pointer finger ring but i think you guys can see it's an r they don't paint the pinky rings on any of them. Any three of my girls, like, like none of them have a painted pinky ring. 
Um, and then here are her first pair of shoes. Really pretty. I will say I love all of the shoes, all of the clothes for all three girls, even this chicken feathers back there. The green eyes, like green and pink normally go together, and I think if they had been slightly more muted, maybe I would have liked them, almost like how the Shadow High doll's eyes are. I don't love this super strong green on her, though. Not my favorite. She'll definitely get a change. Her makeup, really, really pretty. There's a little bit of soft glitter in the corners and at the top. Looks like she has like a little beauty mark. I don't know if that's going to come off or not, but it's not bothersome. If it is a beauty mark, I can live with it. And then her lips are like a really beautiful color. Her hair, honestly, is less rose gold and more peachy. Um, like a peachy pink. I don't know. It's, I guess, maybe it's more rose gold and it's her outfits are too pink. And that just, yeah, because this goes kind of better with it. Well, let's check out what it looks like. Oh, and by the way, she does have two hair clips, but only on the one side. So don't freak out thinking they're missing from the other. They just only come on one side from what I can tell from the box. All right, let's change her into her second outfit. Okay, guys, so really quickly, here are her earrings. And then, I don't know if I remember to show you guys all their microphones, but they match the cases. But they match the cases. And then here is her second outfit. I pulled her hair back into just like a quick ponytail style, um, just so you could see. Now, I will say with this coat, the liner makes the armholes so thick that I actually had to take her hands and bracelets off in order to get her arms through the holes but the outfit without the coat looked really really sparse so i was like whatever i'll just go ahead and do the struggle and put it on it is a really cute dress i think i think it's a little plain i feel like maybe if it was paired with like cheryl's white button up or even just a cute white t-shirt under it um because without the coat it's just it's cute. It's just really, really empty feeling. I don't know. And then I like the socks. I like the shoes. I don't really love them together with the whole outfit. I don't know. But like I said, these, these girls are all staying in their dresses. Which is kind of sad though. Just because her hair doesn't really match her evening gown. It matches this outfit. But... I think it'll be okay. She's definitely getting a hair wash later on. And Aisha's probably going to get the end of her ponytail washed. And then... I feel like all three of them will probably get an eye swap. I don't know about Malene because I feel like she looks really great with the brown eyes. And we're always complaining about how the brown-skinned girls don't come with brown eyes. But, like... I just feel like... I don't know. I don't know if anything would go better. I really don't. Like, her brown eyes look gorgeous on her. But I do know that Aisha's getting Robin's eyes. And I think that Aisha's eyes, her brown eyes are going to go over here to Sabrina. I think that will kind of make things more... I don't know what the word is. Like, contrasting for me so it looks better. Or, like, I don't... I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to quit rambling and get her changed back into her main dress and wrap this up. Alright, you guys, so just to wrap everything up with my final thoughts, are they worth the $39.99? Yes. Were they worth the $49.99? Honestly? Minus Sabrina? Yeah. Yeah, and only if she hadn't had terribly cut, gelled, cut, like, crumpled, messy hair that was falling out and wasn't losing sequins, she would have been worth it too. I mean, like I said, I tend to have a different idea of what I'm willing to pay for dolls. So something that's worth it to me might not be to other people. But for me, a lot of it is if it has defective quality, etc., it's not worth it. Now, I will say, before I sign off on that, I did not check the thickness of their hair. 
Well, I did with Sabrina because I was like, why is her hair falling out? But it looks like it was just pieces that were cut. It's not actually falling out. And her hair was decently thick. I've seen a lot of complaints that Aisha's hair outside of that ponytail is very, very thin. And Malene's hair before I put it up seemed really thick. So I just want to make sure that I get that out there because if Aisha has thin hair, then I would probably take back her being worth the extra $10. <laughs> so just want to get that out there because honestly, to me, a doll with thin rooting is defective. I don't care what MGA says. I don't care what Mattel says. I don't care what all those people who are trying to gaslight you and tell you that it's normal for a $50 doll to be half bald because of the hairstyle have to say if a doll is thinning and balding they're probably not worth 30 40 50 and upward dollars and you're not going to convince me of otherwise so i do want to say as of right now they're worthwhile in their current styles if i take their hair down and i find it thinning and i can't restyle it to other styles because of how thin it is then to me it loses value you can't tell me the doll is a play line and then they don't have enough hair for you to play with it. You can't tell me they're collector and then they have such thin hair that it's low quality. So either which way, I'm not buying the thin hair debate. Just want to get that out there. But enough ranting about that. I would love to hear what you guys think about these girls. Have you found them yet? Are you keeping them in outfit one, outfit two, all of the above? I don't even know. A combination. Um... Who do you plan on putting the extra outfits on, if anyone? I will say, to me, like, all the little plastic stuff, for me, it's junk, because I'm not going to use it, but the cases and the makeup were a really nice touch, very cute. I don't love the microphones, but that's just a me thing, because I have no use for them. They're just going to get, all of it's just going to get chucked in a drawer. But the makeup is beautiful. All of them had really nice faces. Like, all of the little extra accessories, the hair clips, etc. are really nice. I will say that I would probably give these girls an 8 out of 10, and it would have been higher if they just left out all the plastic junk and put a better price on them, and if Sabrina's hair hadn't been a mess, and if Aisha wasn't potentially bald. So, otherwise they would have been a 10 out of 10. These are really great dolls. Glad I bought them. I probably will... Definitely, I mean, I'm definitely going to get some to dye, but I'll probably wait to find them on sale or when I have a coupon before I do that. So it is something to look forward to in the future, but probably not the super near future. Anyway. Alright, you guys. So like I said, if you enjoyed that, um, definitely like, subscribe, bell for notifications, all of that. I've linked my Instagram down below. You can follow me there to see the photos of these girls once they get their new eyes set in. I'm not going to do it tonight because it's like 4.30 in the morning and Bear will be home not that long from now. Um, and we're going to go get breakfast and all of that because working overnights. But um, definitely check out my Instagram. Like I, I post reels on there. Um, I post tutorials, news, um, pictures, and usually, like, if you have questions, you can ask. Oh, one of the cool things about Instagram, and I know you guys have probably already left the video, but check it out. If, I, I don't remember if I mentioned this last video, but if you happen to dye your dolls, I really love seeing them, but, like, I, I've gotten to the point where, like, I get so many notifications on my inbox i get overwhelmed and i just like i can't even bring myself to check it like i just you know once it starts getting like 20 30 40 messages i'm just like i my anxiety kicks in and i just can't like i mentally cannot and i try to keep up but like even right now i'm like three weeks behind so i started using the hashtag rainbow high hair dye and hashtag shadow high hair dye um i looked up those hashtags and no one was using them um, they had like zero posts. So I started using them just so that we can, all of us who love dyeing can kind of have like this great big, what is it called? Like catalog of all the cool hair dyes and which dolls we've dyed, etc. So that if you want to dye and you want to see, well, I wonder if a doll's been this color already, or I wonder if this color will work on them. You can kind of go and browse and see mine as well as other people's stuff um that we've dyed and 
yeah so it also lets me go and see all the stuff that you guys have died because i can just check you know recent every couple of days and look through all the new pictures and it's like just much easier on my anxiety than trying to like look at my inbox um yeah the only thing i check less than my instagram inbox is my facebook inbox and i check that like once every couple of weeks but my instagram inbox has just gotten to the point where like like, I do try to, I find it's easier to keep up with the comments on these videos, um, right now. But I know that, like, the more followers you get, the harder it gets to keep up with all of that. So, for right now, I just know I'm doing my best. And, I, I like I said, I am three weeks behind on my Instagram, uh, inbox. Just getting through everybody's messages. Oh, plastic from the box. Um, but yeah, I... I definitely still love when you guys message me. It just gets really overwhelming. So these hashtags will allow me to see the stuff you've died without my brain just shutting off. Um, so there is that. <laughs> but I do love all you guys' comments. I do appreciate all the views on my reels because I get bonuses for it. And that allows me to buy more dolls, more hair dye, etc. Um, so definitely go and like those, share those, watch them a billion times. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys fairly soon i've been trying to be more involved ever since like everything happened between june and july and three people that i knew passed away and i know they say it comes in threes but like that was a thing um you know we were ill we had vacation it was a lot it's the whirlwind of everything and so since i've been back i've been trying really hard to just be more present in social media and with doll stuff which i realize like is not even that important in the grand scheme of things but it just kind of helps me like stay focused in life because i'm a stay-at-home cat mom other than spending time with my cat i don't really do i mean i play like animal crossing but i don't really do like a whole lot else speaking of cats have you guys seen that game stray do you have it do you like it let me know because i'm definitely debating on buying it i've seen people playing it with their cat and, like, that would make me so happy if Sausage was just, like, let me play this video game with you and watch it. Um, <laughs> I know, right? But, uh, yeah, so, I do have, like I said, the Shadow High video I'm still working on. I, I plan on trying to finish it really soon. Like, I need to stop stalling on it, but, like, it's so much work. So, yeah, anyway, I will see you guys really, really soon with a new video. And until then, follow me everywhere. All of it. Bye.